Hi, I'm Stephanie Schwelt, Doctor of Physiotherapy and Contracted USEF Physiotherapist for the Dressage Development Program. When I worked in the clinic, I used to get a lot of questions about sleeping habits, and I still do as a clinician working on equestrians. And I actually have been kind of correlating certain riding positions to how people sleep. So I wanted to give a couple tips on sleeping patterns um, and hopefully you guys enjoy this. So I will give recommendations. Now I am not one to change how you're sleeping by any means. My main goal for this is to support whatever sleeping habit you're in. Now I'm not going to address all the issues. This is just one video. If you have questions about a certain sleeping pattern, please feel free to message me on here or if you're on social media, message me there. So let's talk about pillow thickness for if you sleep on your back. My recommendation is not too thick. So if you have a very thick pillow or stack pillows, a lot of people stack their pillows like this. I'm gonna make it kind of extreme. So stack their pillows like this, they're sleeping like this. If I were to sit up horizontally in this position, what I would look like is this. So if we ride, we don't want to ride in this slouchy position with the head pushed forward like that. It really all night long for six, eight hours, however many hours you sleep, your head is pushed forward this way. It's a long time to be in that position. Now I understand if you have a breathing issue at night and you have to sleep that way or you do have difficulty breathing at night and you feel like you have to put your head up like that, that's definitely a condition you should go see your doctor for. I'm specifically just talking about ergonomics and positioning and my recommendations for that. So I do recommend that you use a relatively thin pillow that's supportive. Now for the pillow, it should be soft enough that you can kind of mold it. This is my personal preference. Now again, if the pillow is too thick and too firm, it's going to hold your head in this position here. And that again is a long time to be held in one position. So my recommendation is a pillow that's relatively soft, but not too soft, but you want to be able to mold it. I like kind of bunching mine together just a little bit under my neck if I'm sleeping on my back and then my head can be here so that I can be in as neutral of a position as possible so my spine is aligned with itself. Now let's talk about sleeping on your side because sleeping on your side I've found kind of a correlation between riders that have tight adductor muscles so the muscles that are on the inner thigh pinching the horse here on one side I've kind of found a correlation between how they sit on their horse and their sleeping preference for their side. So the same recommendation applies for the pillow thickness. It should be thick enough to support your head here, but your, again, your head should be kind of in line with your spine here, not too thick so that your head is up this way. Now my recommendation for um, the legs, you can see here, that my angle between my hip and my knee kind of goes down like this. Now, again, I am a female, so my pelvis is a little bit wider. Males, their pelvises are a little bit narrower, so they may need a more narrow pillow between the knees. So if I got a pillow here, this one's relatively thick, and I put it between my knees, you can see how that changes the angle here. Now, some people do sleep with a pillow just between their knees, but what happens then, I don't know if you can see it here. If I have a pillow between my knees, but not my ankles, then what happens is you get this torsion at the hip like this, which also is not good. So I do recommend a pillow between your knees and between your ankles. The other thing that people will tell me is that they have shoulder pain or they can't sleep. They prefer to sleep on their side, but they can't because their chest hurts or their shoulder hurts. And I do recommend if that's the case to hold a pillow here gently not hugging it like this because again that collapses your chest but just holding it here and resting this arm here because what happens with if you hold a pillow 
it brings your chest a little bit more open and then it doesn't close it off all night. So again, when we ride, it's important that our chest doesn't collapse this way. If you're sleeping all night with your chest collapsed that way, it's allowing and making it easier for your body to go in this position. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share my videos. I hope you all are staying healthy and well. Don't forget to get some really good sleep. Thanks.